everyone, I hope you're doing well. This week I am filming part one of my fountain pen ink collection. Because I go to school in Toronto, I have half of my collection in Toronto and I have the other half of my collection at home here in British Columbia. So I'm going to start off with my diamine inks. Uh, this is Earl Grey, which is my favorite grey. This is just my Hobonichi cousin. This is a blank week that I didn't plan in, so I'm just going to use this as a tester page. As you can see, it is a gorgeous gray, and there is also a little bit of a sheen when it dries. Also, I'm really sorry for my nails. Yesterday, I had to fix a lawnmower, and it got really intense, and I chipped like four of my nails, so I just cut them all off. The next one that I want to talk about is Diamine Oxblood. This is a beautiful deep red color. For some reason, whenever I use it, I just feel like a professional author. As you can see, it's not a super bright red, and when it dries, it goes a little brown, just like blood, I guess. Also, I'm currently writing standing up with my back hunched over, so um, it's a little wonky. The next ink is Diamine Steel Blue, and this is a more fun ink. It is just a gorgeous bright blue. Next up is Majestic Blue, and this is a very heavy sheener. I will show you the sheen when it dries, so you know what I'm talking about. This is definitely just a true royal blue. Even though it's not dry yet, you can already see some of the sheen. Um, it's like a little bit of red. This is also Diamine, obviously, uh, but this is their older packaging. So um, I have it in Autumn Oak, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous orangey, yeah, basically an orange. And this one is really good with shading. Okay, I don't think my writing did this ink any justice, but I promise it's really pretty. Um, I'm just like dipping my fountain pen instead of actually inking it, so it looks a little strange. Next is this lovely green from Jerban. Um, I think this is French, Ver Empire. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. And this is a really nice muted green. Oh my gosh, I just wrote diamine because I'm so used to it, but it's not diamine. Apologies. This page is already becoming a mess, but hopefully you get the idea. And I already mentioned this in my last video, but this is another kind of golden green that I really like. Okay, I'm so sorry. This video is getting progressively worse. As I mentioned, I was fixing the lawnmower, so my arms are a little bit sore as well, and I can't do anything properly. The next ink is a lovely purple. Um, I don't know too much about it, but I think this is an iron gall ink, so there are certain fountain pens that you shouldn't use this ink with, and there's like a pungent smell that I don't really like, but it is a beautiful purple. Next up, I have Iroshizuku Tsukio, and this is probably my number one favorite ink. In my opinion, this is just the perfect blue, um, and I could use this for the rest of my life if I wanted to. And then this is Noodlers, and I think, yeah, this is Lexington Gray. I find blacks to be kind of boring, so I like to find different shades of gray and play with that. So as you can see, compared to Diamine Earl Grey, it is a lot warmer, whereas Earl Grey is very cool toned. This is Waterman in black, and um, I think I have like a total of three different blacks. This is just the one that I have here. I could actually show you guys all of my ink collections um, because I inked up my pens before I came back, but um, I think 
I'm gonna wait and show you guys the beautiful bottles as well. So yeah, for now, this is part one of my ink collection. It was kind of a messy video, but hopefully um, there is an ink that catches your eye. So yeah, I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye!